Even though audio is highly important, new media producers often overlook its importance. Many times it is only a secondary consideration. The reality is that audio is more important than video. One can watch bad video with good audio quality, but cannot watch cinematic footage with incomprehensible audio. Getting the audio recording right is critical to creating a watchable media presentation. This is often out of the editor's hands, but one would hope that the editor would be provided media with good quality audio. Without good audio, the final sequence is not watchable, and the project is likely to fail. On the editing timeline, video is shown on one track. Below the video will be several layers of audio tracks. The reason that editors don't stack video tracks on top of one another has to do with the fact that video is solid and a track beneath another track will not be visible. Unlike video, audio is layered into multiple tracks. Each track will contain a different type of audio. And as part of mixing the audio tracks, editors will specify the volume levels of the individual tracks and the individual clips within the tracks. Some examples of audio types on the different audio layers are, for example, ambient sounds. Ambient sound refers to the sound of the environment or the sound backdrop on location. It is the atmosphere. It is sounds such as cars driving by, pedestrians walking by, or wind hustling and fans spinning. Even when recording audio within an empty and noise-free room, there is still sound. The atmosphere, or room tone, must be recorded and layered underneath all the recordings that happen on set, so as to create a consistent feeling across cuts as the sequence progresses. At least a minute of room tone needs to be recorded for every location. The atmosphere, or ambient soundtrack, will provide a feeling of reality. Otherwise, pauses in sound will occur in the sequence and the soundtrack will feel as if it's recorded in an artificial studio. And then we have dialogue. Dialogue is recorded on set. If it is not recorded properly, then the project will be at high risk of failing. Fixing recording problems with dialogue is not usually possible, or it is very difficult. Now we have effects sounds. Effects sounds are sounds that are artificially added in a studio. This could include things such as footsteps, punching, or breaking glasses. And lastly, we have music. In the timeline, there should be several layers of audio. As these layers are stacked on top of one another, the sound levels will add up. The resultant level may be too hot. The editor needs to monitor the audio track levels by looking at the audio meters. If the meters change from green to yellow, that means that the audio clip is nearing peak levels. If the meters change from yellow to red, this means the sound is exceeding peak levels. The editor must adjust the audio volumes for the individual tracks and monitor the resultant overall mix level throughout the sequence so as to ensure that the audio track does not distort and clip.